The ocean really does connect all things. There isn't a discipline on the earth in this time of climate crisis where the ocean is not essential to your understanding of history, of literature, of policy, of law, of science, of art, of music. Sea Education Association is not just about our ships, but about community and about small interdisciplinary groups getting together to learn about the ocean, the most important set of ecosystems on the planet. To be centered in Woods Hole, forming our community before we go out on the field is such an extraordinary opportunity. And to center our own studies and just say, okay, this is one of the most historic oceanographic institution communities. And we can be here, learn from experts, but also form our own community, a group of students supporting each other as we learn and then preparing it's just extraordinary. Getting students in the field, doing that experiential education, engaging in research, engaging in understanding marine policy from the perspective of local communities, all of that is what makes SEA particularly unique. Blue Humanities is thinking about literature, history, anthropology, and trying to contextualize those things within an oceanic atmosphere and what happens on the ocean, in the ocean, beneath the surface, but mostly with Blue Humanities, it's that connection that humans have with the ocean and all the different ways that they express that. One of the great things about the program is the way you interact with the ocean from so many different sides. The scientific research, but also the navigation of the vessel. You get a really holistic view. It's important to know how local communities are interacting with the ocean in order for the scientific research that we're doing to have the most value that it can. I think the cultural aspects as well as the science aspects are so important to be seen together. I'm a double major at my school in both the humanities and the sciences. And through that and this homestay, I've learned that it's important to know your science, but also to be able to explain them to others, explain them to the people who will be impacted by them. Ocean sciences and blue humanities really tie nicely together. We are able to both collect data and gather research and also talk to the local community there. And that felt like something super powerful, merging both the science and the humanity aspect of what the people there believe and what we're finding in the ocean. Having those diversity of perspectives help us understand the ocean in a more deeper, more meaningful way. We've been planning our research based on the data that our partners want. So we've been working with government agencies and nonprofits and even local schools to kind of design our research plan. One thing that I specifically like about SEA is they really stress the fact that we share our research with the local communities that we're working with. This community manages a tambu, which is a marine protected area. And the data that we take from that tambu, we give back to this community and neighboring communities to show how well it's doing. That is the key factor in that relationship. That's what matters, is the communication between the science and the humanities. So we're looking at the interplay of what role does the global ocean play in our changing climate? Two different things. One is what we're doing to the ocean, and the second thing is what is the ocean doing to us in return? What we do have is a pretty comprehensive set of capacities to look at the big elements that are changing in the oceans. Ocean acidification is a big topic. We do a lot with the ocean plastic pollution. We have uh, good capacities to make direct observation of those things. And without monitoring, we can't do intelligent management. If a student group can come in and can inform the monitoring and go out and actually survey things, then we can take this knowledge back to the villages and then they can make their own decisions. This is a, a direct example of Blue Humanities straight away. What the scientific monitoring is doing is informing the management that the community want to make of their own sustainable resources. It makes more sense now to understand why we would want to protect the coral reefs. It makes it easier to study. It's actually something that is impactful. So it is on a personal and also a deeper level. It is almost impossible to be part of an academic community that goes out to a ship at sea or part of a small field expedition that is organized out of a place like the Woods Hole community. I think young people should feel hope and I'm very optimistic because I see the creativity, I see the passion, and I see the dedication to make things better. All change starts with a single step by a single person. Their journey starts with one step at a time to make the difference. 
The more we can connect students that might not have access to the ocean, the more people in the next generation that care about the ocean, that care about stewardship of the ocean into the future.